Shalom, my good black Israelite brothers and sisters. How y'all doing today? Before we start this video off, we're going to give all glory, honor, and praises to our Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Yes. So, we're going to talk about this Remy Ma and Pat Pooh situation. Um, what we what we seen is a display of just pure disrespect. Um, now, to give people some background uh, to this, um, Remy Ma she went to jail, um, you know, years ago, six seven years ago or whatever, for shooting her friend. Um, because they had some differences with money and stuff like that. But uh, Papoose, you know, he held her down while she was in jail. Uh, I think he may, may have even adopted her son. Um, I know he was just there for her, and he always had her back. And uh, when she got out, you know, he put his career, you know, on the back burner a little bit and just focused on her. Um, held her down, man. And um, the rumor was spreading that she may have been cheating for a good little minute. It was spreading for like two months or whatever. But it came out when they were in a uh, actual battle. Um, it's a guy that goes by Geechee Gotti. Um, he's a battle rapper. He just went up there uh, exposing things against a guy named Easy to Block Captain. Now, I, I, I watch battles from time to time and stuff like that to see if, uh, you know, it's any um, intricate things that's being said, anything that I can learn from. Uh, it's a bunch of skillful dudes when it comes to the mind and the brain and how they articulate themselves and uh, put words together and bend, you know, metaphors and analogies uh, in a creative way. But when um, they were battling... Uh, the guy, the easy to block captain, just, you know, he just said some stuff in that battle that, you know, um, even jokingly, like, if it was me, like, it, it, yeah, he'll definitely, definitely, definitely get punched in the face. This whole year of my career, y'all tried to derail. Want to know who I'm fucking? You're gay. You want to know the details? Nigga, keep this on the DL. If you heard a nigga did something to me over a female and he ain't dead, it's probably because I still got the female. Nigga, do it. Now, um, the opposition, right, his, his opponent just outed them, flat out outed them and said, you know, if, if you're going to cheat, you know, cheat with somebody that can fight and things like that. And he just gave the breakdown. Listen, he took you out to the best fools. When you ain't feeling good, he put you back in the best moves. So he'd be damned to see you get stepped to by a nigga he socked out and stood over like a step stool. And Remy Ma was up there. She just was, you know, and she's a rapper herself. She's an entertainer herself for people that don't know. She's an entertainer. Uh, she was just up there, you know, just looking crazy. She was looking crazy. She was looking guilty. Um, to do that to that man is, uh, you know, ridiculous. Um, it's disloyal, dishonorable. Even if it wasn't true, you were supposed to take up for him right then and there and you didn't. And that's the problem. Everybody have an issue because you didn't say nothing right then and there and you didn't say nothing after the battle and you didn't say nothing, you know, before the battle um, to take away um, that approach. Now, it was rumored that the easy to block captain got punched in the face by Pat Poos at another battle event because he felt disrespected. He, you know, and the, the papoose, he took easy in and gave him some, some advice and he let him become uh, partners and stuff like that with his uh, wife. And it, you know, this is what happens when, you know, it's, it's snakes in the grass. And uh, yeah, he punched him. He said it didn't happen. It was rumors. And, um, you know, they had this battle and then uh, Pat Poos didn't show up. So that just, you know, that gives, you know, uh, validity and credence to the, the concept of our, uh, the notion that you got punched, the idea that you got punched because he didn't even show up. 
and then they tried to hold it in a place where he felt more comfortable. Um, that's why he, he had a bar with, you know, trying to get a, uh, the uh, the Geechee had, he had a bar saying like, you brought him here so you can try to get the one up on him, you know, the up on him. And uh, it's true, you know, hopefully that wasn't what it was, like he said, but it was just crazy, man, just to see that just to see that and now this tasha k is exposing them she's bringing all the receipts she's bringing uh the the phone calls and things like that and they going back and forth or whatever but if i was the remy ma i'd just chill if i was that easy to block captain i'd just chill um and they're saying that she um downgraded they're saying that she downgraded she didn't pick somebody uh worth you know uh uh cheating with it's never worth it but if you if you do mess up at least go up not down you messing with somebody that's shorter you're messing with somebody that has less money you're messing with somebody that uh can't fight according to the uh of what happened you know those was the allegations you know he can't fight and he has braces and you know everything about him like he you know just not a solid dude like you can't be messing and fooling around with people, uh, with people wives, you know, you just can't do that. I mean, that's in the scriptures. Um, let me, um, give y'all some, some scriptures because we do scripture work around here. We just don't utter things on our mouth. We, we actually, you know, have proof in, um, what we do and what we study because back then, if you were to do uh these egregious acts you will be literally put to death you know literally put to death so let's go to we're going to go to Leviticus we're going to go to Leviticus 20 and 10 I'm pulling it up now uh Leviticus 20 and 10 and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death so even in the scriptures you know you you would die you you're gonna die like nothing good will come out of this situation i promise y'all it's just sad you know and when, when I seen it, I was like, okay, it's fishy that this guy is with her all the time. You know, they, they've they been caught eating dinner. They were on um, doing face-offs together. They were uh, on the news. Um, he was at the battle. Um, even after the allegations, uh, he was standing in front of her and she had to point to the camera uh, because somebody was recording. All these things are suspicious. And to me, me personally, I would never be close or anywhere in the vicinity of another man's wife. And no man will be that close to my wife. You know, that's an evil act. And it's wrong. And it's like a malicious attack on his character for her to allow him to even say that. He said, if a dude ain't dead, that mean I still got the female and all that. Like, <laughs> some people just have the tolerance and some people don't. I just don't tolerate it. And, um, and what she did was wrong and nothing's good gonna come out of that at all. The type of woman that she displayed, cause everybody had her back, but the type of woman she displayed Everybody lost respect for it. This is this is career ending. I don't see anything good coming out of this at all. Career wise and their relationship wise, whatever, whatever that is. So let's get into some more scriptures. Let's get into um, let's go to Proverbs five and three, so I can so I can show y'all where nothing's good going to come out of that. You know, you reap what you sow. Everybody knows that. You can't go around doing these things to people and it's not supposed to come back to you and it's like how didn't you learn from being in jail the first time 
Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. Four, but her but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Five, her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. So with these things that she's doing, he may not know, right? But he's going to get drugged down with her because no woman in her right mind does these things. No woman in her right mind act this way. No woman in her right mind um, cheat on a man that held her down for years and had her back for years. And they have a child together. So this is legitimately this man's wife. And then for you to do that, it shows that you, um, you're not a man, you're a snake, and you have no type of honor in you, period, as a man. Right. This is not a girlfriend. Right. This is not a one night stand girlfriend thing or whatever. This is someone's wife. And I just me personally, I just I couldn't have it in me not to, to like harm somebody man, and harm this dude. But he's playing it cool. And, and, and he should, though. You know, you got to be smart because you have a daughter. Let's go to first Corinthians seven and thirty nine. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. So if the man was dead, that's different, but he's still alive. He's still alive. So what makes you think that you can do that? What type of a woman are you to do that? And then getting exposed. And then look how you make your husband look in these situations. Look how you make him look. He look crazy. Pat Poos look crazy, even though he's the innocent one. It's just how you make him look. You know, you're supposed to just walk away from the situation. Why do you have to do, you know these acts and let's say they say oh well they were getting a divorce the ink is still wet on the paper the ink is still wet on the paper you move in on a, a, a man's wife that you know personally and do that and expect it not to be any consequences karma is real because if i'm not mistaken the easy to block captain right who remy ma is cheating on Papoose with his wife was sleeping with other battle rappers and league owners or his girlfriend or whoever she was to him was sleeping with other men too. So it's like he took the, the pain that he was going through and tried to inflict it on others. And he's a woman beater. That's what they said. He's a woman beater. So nothing good is going to come out of this situation. Deuteronomy 5 and 21. Neither shall thou desire thy neighbor's wife, neither shall thou covet thy neighbor's house. Like, you can't go after another man's wife unless you're willing to die. It's a kill or be killed thing, man. Like, this was... I just had to make a video because it's just, it's a disgrace. You know, as a man, you just don't do that. You don't play with people, kids. You don't play with people, wives. You don't play with people, livelihood, you know? And for the Remy Ma, you breached a contract. Marriage is a contract. It's a covenant. You breached it. You got out, you lost weight, you got some fake teeth, and now you're feeling yourself. And this is what they do. All that gangster talk, that don't mean nothing. Literally don't mean nothing. You know? You have an honor means something. Respect means something. Cherishing 
your life and your husband and your child mean something. You let somebody come break up a, a happy home. And let's say it wasn't a happy home. Through thick and thin, right? Better or for worse. You took vows because you got married. And this is what you do? Okay. Well, the most high, he sit up high and look down low. Everything's been documented and recorded. You reap what you sow. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, follow me on my other channel, Alpha Hebrew, where I do a lot of teaching. Follow me on Instagram and any other platforms. Um, just, you know, y'all know I just be doing teaching and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to be making more videos back to back, trying to cover everything. It's a lot that I need to cover. Um, but it's very tough when you're here in Babylon and you have to uh, slave your life away and make sure you're taking care of your families. It's, it's very difficult. That's why we need, you know, uh, a lot of support. You know, people like myself are men like myself and other men, too, um, that's trying to, to, to lead us to, to uh, victory, you know, mentally and spiritually. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, you know, y'all just like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Alpha Hebrew. I am signing out. Peace.